What's good my people? Welcome back to our channel. Um, I was going to say welcome back to the Hate Squared podcast, but it's not a podcast, it's a podcast channel. My name is Hader, I am one half of the podcast. Right now, it is Tuesday 1st of Feb, 8.43pm and yeah, join me. I'm going to be seeing a man like Nucci later this week, but of course, like this video. It's our first time vlogging for you lot. You know the draw, man. Subscribe, all of that. Bow. Guys, um, I just want to say I'm so grateful for everyone's support. Hate Squared for the past couple of years. You know, a lot of you have become like family to us, family to me, family to Hussein. Yeah, man. Uh, but currently outside my barber's. Going to go get that, that birthday re-up. And yeah, I just want to say really quickly, man. Not, I don't want to get too emotional and too soppy, but... I'm just super grateful for you all for allowing me to be in a position where we can do what we do and just know that without your ongoing support, you know, we wouldn't be able to do it. So, yeah, man, hope you lot enjoyed the rest of this vlog and uh, join me as I, you know, carry this, this day on and stuff. Hey, uh, you lot, Hussein just sent me this message, yeah? He goes, happy birthday, mate. I click on it. Man said 10,000 subscribers. Oh, shit. Man really, man, we, we manifested that in the same video. Let me play my voice next to you lot. Hey! <laughs> Are you mad? Come on, G. Greatness only, my fucking brother. Oh, sorry about Big that. Big nooch. Are you mad? So I don't know if I mentioned this on a podcast. Um, I don't know if I have, but... I basically started to learn Arabic. It's a beginning, it's a beginner's short course. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's about a 10 week long course. Um, I've done a few classes already, you know, kind of Alif, Ba, Da, Ta, Jim, Ha, Ha, Dal, so on and so forth. I mean, you learn this stuff when you're learning the Quran as a kid anyway, so a lot of it is like memory as well. But yeah, I've got a class tomorrow, so I'm just kind of revising there. But I just want to show you guys something a bit, not cool, but like, you know, Something that may you lot may find interesting. So let me turn this around. So my desk area is a bit messy. Don't ask. But anyways, uh, this is my vision board, guys. So I'll go over it briefly. Um, I'll speak about law of attraction and manifestation a lot in the podcast and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, just kind of walk you through some of the things. On the top right, you can see your first class cabin on Emirates that I love to fly on one day. Obviously, I'm Pakistani, so I miss my home country. I want to see my family there. So, I, you know, I put that up there. Obviously money, because who doesn't like money? Good vibes only. You know, a few designers that I like. LV, Celine, Palm Angels. You know, just to kind of motivate myself for short-term wins and material gains. Because, you know, it's always nice to buy and wear nice things. Obviously, we've got the 20k uh, manifestation that will happen one day. And then, of course, the main one, the 1 million, the speak it into existence. One of our supporters actually gave us that um, around our first year anniversary. And yeah, just, you know, a quote that I like to live by, um, time as the, you know, time, time freedom is a goal of mine. And yeah, man, just a little, little something to remind myself every day when I'm working, just why I'm working hard at what I do. Last thing I want to say is this, I didn't see this earlier, I should have showed you that, but you see, I've got these three, um, sticky notes. This one here says, I'm so happy and grateful. Now that hate squared has 10k subs, bro. Excuse my messy handwriting. This has been up there for probably over a year. Finally happened. Big up you lot, man. <sighs> yes, people, you already know who it is. Different format today. I don't have the mic right up in my face. I'm at home. I'm looking a bit bummy. Um, just working. This was Hader's idea to start vlogging. So, you know what? I, I could do it all. So I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'll get the people what they want. If this is what you want, let me look at the camera. If this is what you want, I'll give you what you want. Because I'm looking at myself now. I'm being egotistical. Anyways. Oh, my arms are hurting already, bro. I just wanted to share some shit with you guys, yeah? On a real. Um... Yeah, let me let me put it down and then we can talk. All right, people, man, I'll be real, yeah? I've had the worst week 
um, that I've had in a while. That like genuinely, let me cover up this part. That like genuinely, um, just I've spoken to Hader about it as well very briefly because I'm the type to not really talk to people. Um, but I've been just overthinking, over analysing a lot of things. Um, just yeah, my brain hasn't been in a good space. Yeah, but and I like it's crazy because I was like overthinking about my career and like overthinking about friendships and overthinking about just every aspect of life. I was just overthinking. I was just I just didn't like it. And the past week has proper like been very draining. Um, plus other external factors, etc. But people, oh, it's crazy, bro. Subhanallah, wallah, like within a space of two days, everything changed. And I hope to be able to share some good news with you guys soon. But imagine whatever you've dreamed of, like, I can't say it without saying it, without giving it away. But it's crazy. Like, I never, I dreamed to be in this situation that I'm in right now. And now that it's happened, like, I'm very, I'm just in shock. I'll be wrong. I'm just really in shock, like massively in shock. Um, yeah, man, God is great. Um, you know, everything does happen for a reason. And I just wanted to let you guys know that if you're going through something, all it takes is an hour, a minute, a second, um, a day, whatever it is, however long it is, that's all it takes to change it. And you can literally find yourself like, I swear to God, imagine I was in like this point, yeah, life just done a mad 180 and I was just facing the other direction now. It's nuts, bruv. But yeah, man, I need to get a boss cut again, bro. This hair looks fucked. I've tried to vlog throughout my week, my month. I don't know how often we're going to do this. Um, obviously, it depends on you lot. Um, and you guys will see through the vlogs that me and Hader actually, unfortunately, do not see each other a lot. We live very far. Well, not very far, but it's far. It's like a 30, 40 minute drive. Um, well, probably about 30 minutes. Um, so it's not accessible. And we're both just really busy with work, with family, with friends, whatever it is. Like, we're just very, very busy. So... Yeah. All right, guys, birthday motives here. I'm with Amanda. Ali, what well, one? Happy birthday. Uh, this, is, this is the famous Ali we're always referring to. Yeah, man. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna stop the camera. Right? You see, the main man, I've been talking about you a lot. I've been slandering your name. Huh? I've been slandering your name in this video just to say how much I. Come on, bro. What are you saying, B? First vlog of Hate Squared and that. Yeah? Say no. SK. <laughs> Got Amanda here. Cheese! Everyone's here, everyone's here. Come on. I say something, they've been waiting for you, B. They've actually been waiting for you. Yeah, that was 20 minutes late. Alright, uh, say that. Uh, I'm gonna edit that part out. Uh, everyone here, yeah? Uh, happy, I'm here. Everyone, I'm happy everyone's here, but tell them where, you, where you've come from today. Where, 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 all the way. The Midlands. Midlands. Just to be here for your boy, Hado, man. You get me? But now, hey, listen. I just want to say, one part, hey, this guy was, we were about to be three of us, me, him, and this waistband over there. You get me? But obviously, God has better plans. never going to be called Aha. No? Uh, uh, shape up for Karak and Chill. Chill. Get me. Nah. I'm happy for this love, bro. Love, love. He was the first. So every time you look, trust me, Marshall. Everyone say Marshall to him and his family. Beautiful thing. Just know foundation of Hate Squared. He was involved. You get me. He's not. He's not. He's not. Took it to the next level, man. Just keep shouting me out. Soon come, soon. Another one with the man himself. The drippiest man I've ever met, you get me? He's come to the end. He's come to the end after the first five minutes. You want it? You're dying for it? You're dying for it. I thank you, man. Was that you? Just pre pretend it was you, innit? Pretend it was you. Alright, uh, Mandem. Love for that, innit? Alright, uh, you don't miss the sparkles. Shout out to the Mandem, man. Ah, uh, calm. Let's dig in. Oh shit! Oh shit! Talk your shit! What? Talk your shit! It's 10k in that. Alright. Alright, we've got more. Yeah, you got one more, G. You didn't get a fucking, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Did you knock them all over? Strike. Strike. You didn't get no strike. Allah. Dead. Skip the tour, B. Yeah? You wanted seven. I 
I put seven. You then said you wanted three. I put three. Now I've got two strikes in a row. Is it going to go again? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, long day. Keep rolling. <laughs> Stay humble. Stay humble. Stay humble. I move, move. Yeah, that's why you stay humble in life. Why have you got another one? This guy. G for Gimp. You look like a bad beat right now. Rotted. What'd you get? What'd you get? Did you win? Yeah. Oh, you so basically, day two, well, technically day three, but let me stay humble, innit? Day two of birthday celebrations. I'm in central London right now, like Carnaby Street, Oxford Street area. I'm going to a restaurant I've been to before, but I've been to another branch. It's called Dishoom. Was it Dishooms? I think it's Dishoom. Um, South Asian, Indian food. Um, yeah. Come through. Let me show you lot. Let me make a wish, let me make a wish. Hey! <laughs> Guys, I ain't gonna show the family, but get me on our way to shoot um whatever episode it is 57 something like that i'm running bare late i need to go home i need to change i need to run out and i need to go transition say mashallah immediately immediately now yeah man just cleaned up quickly dashed on a hat because i was looking dead before and um we are podcast ready got the topic got the guest well no we don't have a guest I've got the host, man. Host with the most. <laughs> uh, I tried to record in the lift, but I glitched out. You'll see the footage. Um, anyways, just on my way to the podcasting studio now. Um, Heda is going to be there in about... I think we'll arrive at the same time, man. I think we'll arrive at the same time. Um, yeah, man. Excited for this one. I like it. I can't lie, yeah? I like it when it's just me and Heda sometimes because it's like, it's just chilled. It's just so chilled. I love when we have a guest. But the only thing when we have a guest is, it's just that extra little bit of pressure of like, we have to make like the concentrations on the guest. Do you get it? Like the focus is on the guest. I need to try and make this guest feel welcome. Um, I need to, I need to make sure we build a good rapport with the guest so that on camera it looks natural. Do you get it? So, yeah. And then sometimes we don't even have time. So like we're trying to build the rapport on camera. So it's a bit tough in that sense, but I do enjoy it, man. You meeting new people, having people that you actually want on, because no guest just comes on without. Us wanting them on. Let me see that. I'm trying to admire how beautiful you are, bro. Bro, don't do that. Come through, bro. Come through. Let me do it, bro. You're just in my face. The lights are bright. You know, you just broke so far. I can't help it, bro. There's been majority me. I beg you, speak to the people, man. Bro, I've been doing my thing. Have you? You've been started. Have you started? Yeah. Because I didn't think you started. We just finished filming the first episode of Feb. I'm not gonna lie, Hussein. This episode, one of my personal favorites. You know, I like. I was telling the the camera on the way here. Yeah, I like vlogs where it's just me and Hader sometimes. Cause it's organic, it's natural, it's chill. We got obviously Ali behind the camera as well, yeah. pitching in every now and then. You I like that with a smile on your face. Too. Did I not? No. Obviously, we got Ali behind the camera, <laughs> like, doing his thing. You know, a little two cents and that is cute. It's nice. Trust me, me, trust me. But now, uh, by the time this vlog comes out, this episode would have been way up. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, both episodes would have been up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next week. We've got a special thing for you. Inshallah. Uh, Inshallah. Next Inshallah. episode, not next week. But again, that, that should be out as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying like I'm talking like it's nice to, to get to see it behind the behind the scenes. Shout out Manscape, twenty percent off. Hey, put it on me, man. I just sent him his, uh, his second gift on the email. Pro- there you go. Ooh, Not the box is looking Fuji. Fuji, what rhymes with Nucci? I said, bro, <laughs> Manson, Nucci with the Gooch. Come on, bro. A nice oh, people. Mandem. Oh, yeah, wallah, no joke, I've been wanting a new perfume. Yeah, I know, man. All right, thank you so much, Come bro. On, bro man. All right, obviously, shout out to my bro, man, like H. I ain't going to say names because obviously. He's, 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 he's wanted for a couple of things right now, innit? We're just trying to let the court case settle. Yeah. Well, let's put the email. <laughs> and this is the second present. The second present, man. Um, You've sent an ASOS gift. Ah! Just in case you want to treat yourself to a little t shirt. 
you know, something new for the podcast because uh, yeah, drip recently thank has you. been It's like, good. what, nearly two weeks since my birthday, man's still getting birthday up. Come on. Should I do a live reaction on camera? Yeah, smell it, man. Hey, hey, let me show you how to do it, man. Guilty, man. said Gucci, you know. Gucci guilty. You know what, yeah? I've actually I wanted, been wanting a new... I wanted, yeah, I wanted to get you something that I've had, bef like, I've smelt before. Say this. There's a lot of shit out there. Shout out Ali as well, by the way. Thank yeah. you. This is what you do. This is a tutorial. Yeah? How to smell shit. Do this, yeah? How to Grab smell it. shit? Yeah. Spray that bitch. Don't rub it in. If you rub it in, you're a schmuck. Don't rub it in. Let's settle. It needs to get used to the to the oils of the skin. Oh, that's smelling. Let me smell it. Let me smell it. Protrudent. No, oh, close, bro. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. If I've got this on, I'm getting married this year, hundred percent. You see that? You smell it? Can you smell it? No, you keep doing it. <laughs> Can you smell it? Here, come smell. Not really, but here, come smell underneath <laughs> the camera, man. How's it smell, it, man? Yeah. That no. good, huh? Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. His birthday's coming soon. <laughs> if I don't get sat in big... That email's getting sent back. Finally happened, bro. What? Well, finally happened? Yes, sir. Bro, we, 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 our last episode, we, we said, said next episode. Special guest. Shall I do a slow pan? Bro, so just slowly. Pan. Put an emoji on <laughs> Who we got? Nah, I'm joking. Peace and love. My guy, thank you for coming, bro. Nah, so by the time this vlog comes out, the episode would have been out. Yeah. Describe uh, the episode in three words. Three. It was uh, confident, <laughs> yeah. charismatic. Uh, and wealthy. And, uh, and wealthy. And comprehensive. <laughs> love it, love it, yeah, love it. Yeah, now, thank yeah. you again for coming, bro. Real one. <laughs> Show, the battle trims. of the beards. Apparently, I've got the I better Moses, beard, Moses, but he's got the better trim. Who's got a better beard? Me or him? Yeah. Give me a spud. I say, I say, give me a spud. Give me a spud. What are you doing, bro? Spud me. I couldn't see. Spade matches. But who's got a better trim? Can't lie, man. Hey, listen, you lot, you look in the comment section right now. Who's got the better trim and beard? Current settings are today's the 23rd of February. My birthday is tomorrow. I'm turning 25 years old, guys. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how to feel about it. I feel good. Like, what I mean by I don't know how to feel about it is it's a big number. 25 years old. Like, I remember being like 16, 17 years old and thinking, oh, when I'm 25, you know, I, would, I want this and I want that and I would like to be here. But if I look at it now, I'm content with where I am. Like, alhamdulillah, bruv, like, do you get me? I'm very content with where, I, with where I am. But it's just that number just makes me feel a certain type of way. Like, I would have liked to be in this place by this number. Or this person has, has achieved this much by that number. So it's kind of like, you know. But you remove the number. I'm extremely happy with where I am. To, like, if if I'm in the position I am now, at 23, for example, or at 22, I'd be extremely happy. So why should two years just make that much of a difference? It really shouldn't. Honestly, it really shouldn't. Everyone, it's very cliche, but everyone runs their own race. Um, and something that might take the other person like four years to achieve literally might happen for me overnight. Like you just never know what's around the corner. Do you get it? So, but all in all, I'd like to say like, I think the recent passing of like Jamal Edwards, um, you know, Virgil Abloh, for example, um just people are like in and around like the media like stuff we can see him jamal edwards jamal edwards especially just like stuff i've consumed i've consumed for for ages and people i've looked up to whatever um it just makes you realize how like fragile life is bro like wallah like this is i think this is the first time i've actually reached an age where i'm like oh it's like it's my birthday and i've realized like i'm actually so lucky to have seen this day hopefully i hope to god that he keeps blessing me with like more years to come because I genuinely, genuinely believe in myself. Like I've got so much to offer in the space that I'm in. Um, so yeah, man, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there. Like, alhamdulillah, innit? for real. Like count your blessings, man, because life is so fragile. Like it can just all be gone in a blink of an eye. Like, yeah, man. This time last year, um, just a little like, word of motivation for you lots in it. Like this time last year, um, I was in a job that I absolutely despised. Like I was at a very, very low point. I was coming home every single day and I was like, I was hating my life, bro. I swear to God, like it was affecting my social life. It was affecting, like, on the podcast, you're seeing like an hour of me or an hour and a half of me being like all funny and yeah, it's insane, whatever. But bro, I was genuinely finishing work, coming home, like 
I'm not gonna say depressed, but I was, bro, I was very low, very, very low. Um, and I just took the big step to like, just quit. Um, I tried to sort it out. I saw they weren't really being cooperative, so I just quit. And like, alhamdulillah, bro, like fast forward a year, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy what's happening this year, like, for my career. It's actually nuts. Um, so what I'm basically trying to say is, number one, it's never too late. Again, cliche. You're going to get a lot of cliche shit in this, in this little uh, recording. But number one, it's never too late. And number two, don't be afraid to take that risk. Because big man saying, bro, like, if I didn't, I would still be in construction right now or engineering or whatever it was. And, like, just hating my life, bro. Um... And now, I, like, I genuinely love what I do. Um, I'm in a decent position with H squared, and I'm very excited to see, inshallah, inshallah, if I get the life um, to experience it and, and to live it, then I'm very excited to see where I'll be this time next year. Um, but yeah, man, I hope, I know this was a bit of a long one, but just wanted to share that with you lots. Hope you all get the dreams and, and goals that you want. Um, believe me when I say it's not too far-fetched, bro. All it needs is a, is a little change in mindset and a little bit of luck. Like, put in the work. Like, I promise you guys, I was putting in work, bro. I, I, I sacrificed friendships. I sacrificed personal life. I sacrificed personal health. Like, I, I lost a lot of my, you know, I gained a lot of weight. I lost a lot of my gains, whatever. And it was like, when's my big break coming? When's my big break coming? And, and thankfully, over the past, like, month or so, just, like, the head, the, the peak of that or like the tip of that big break has kind of like you know present presented itself to me so yeah man i hope it is what it is and um yeah thank you a lot for your support wallah um this time last year i don't know how many subscribers we were on but like it's nuts the growth is nuts um i love every single one of you no matter what i say on the podcast obviously you know me i joke around and that but no nah, for real like yeah man fuck it enough of this soft boy shit <laughs> you, you had a howl that day, you know that? You had a howl that day. Just here, man. Good vibes, good people. Say something to the people, man. Say something to the people, man. Say something about NFT. Jeez. Man, what are you saying, man? <laughs> <laughs> Make a wish in that for all the mandem here right now. <laughs> Last clip of this uh, vlog. Yeah. You get me? And we're back where where a lot of history took place. Yeah, man, I wouldn't say we're back where it started. No, it didn't no, start no, here. didn't start here. We're back we in Pirate like Studios. Guess here. Guess. Trust me. Yeah. Well, I'm going to turn the camera in a second, but he's saying, what, what just happened, B? What just, just happened? Uh, just appeared on a pod. Uh, what is our second appearance ever? Second appearance, you get me? On someone's pod. Um, it was nice. Lovely course. being a guest, but we're going to turn the in a camera around. <laughs> the man, the myth, the goat. Cool. Last of the real. Check it out. Come on. This episode. When are you releasing that vlog? This should be out. Actually, I haven't even decided yet. Right, some cool. point in March. At some point. At some, some point. point in March. But yeah, yeah bro, thank you for having us on, man. No worries, man. Respect with my um, drama partner. Oh, yeah? With his help, managed to ace drama. What did you not get? What grade? I can't lie. I can't lie. It was my most enjoyable subject, bro. Yeah, drama yeah, was so yeah, lit. Yeah, yeah. We came after school. We, we started, like, rehearsing and that. Um, we had to do two plays, yeah? Okay. One of them, it's a guy who goes to the military and he gets half his face, face blown off. Oh, Mad. shit. You remember... And he and his and his wife or fiance who was meant to be doesn't want him no more. And the other play <laughs> was something to do with like the Holocaust or some shit. And they're on their way yeah. to the concentration oh, camp. Like, he's got a good memory. How he's got he's got good and, memory. And you had to, you had to merge them together in some way and we've done it. We that's nuts, together. that's nuts. Oh, crazy. But now nah, um I remember in the final performance, crazy. hey, in the final performance, yeah. I'm holding on to the thing, like we were pretending oh, to be yeah, on a train. Oh yeah, I hit you. <laughs> we're pretending to be on a train, and I grabbed the thing and I elbowed his head, bro. But I was about to lose it mid, mid performance, bro. Did you not pass though? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we got like, the students. highest and yeah, 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 out yeah, of the oh, all ones. Well, you got like A's. <laughs> I got an A for that. One. He got, but my my written let me down. 
Okay, okay say no. But for that performance, I aced it. Sick, yeah, sick, yeah, sick, sick. My God. So obviously, first time we tried like a vlogging style type of content. We thought 2022 would try to change it up in it. You get me? Obviously. Yeah. We're going to try our best to do as much of behind the scenes, different type of stuff alongside the podcast. But yeah, let us know in the comment section what you thought um, of this Feb vlog. Let us know if you want us to keep it up for every month in 2022. Yeah. Um, anything you change, you want to see more, you want to see less. But I love guys. Take care.